When my dad got his first car in the 1970s, he was so proud. Just having a car was, of course, a big thing. Also, he really liked the fact that it was orange. He used to drive slowly out of our courtyard, and when driving along the streets in our neighborhood, he would wave to anyone he saw. After about 15 years, he needed to buy a new car because the first one got too old and expensive to repair. He decided to go for a black convertible with leather seats. The car had all the technical finesse of an 80s car, even electric window lifts. The car was expensive to buy and also expensive to use. It guzzled almost 10 litres of gas per 100 kilometres. This is probably one of the reasons why the automotive producers started to use fuel emissions as a key selling point. Today, with the emergence of electric vehicles, our expectations to how a car should look and perform are starting to change. Driving range, simplicity in design and lightweight has become more important when deciding which car to buy. And for the automotive industry, the environmental footprint of the car is no longer only linked to the use phase emissions, but also the actual production phase of the car. The production phase emissions is very much dependent on the materials used. Some materials have a lower CO2 footprint than others. The automotive industry should seek for the materials which contribute to a lower environmental footprint. It can mean designing lighter components, replacing some materials with others, put more recycled materials into the car, but also make sure that the materials used can be easily recycled again and reused for new cars, or choose the best option within one material class, which can demonstrate reduced CO2 footprint. An opportunity to drastically reduce the CO2 footprint of producing a car is by replacing current aluminium with hydroreductor. By replacing current aluminium in a standard SUV with hydroreductor, the CO2 footprint on the materials could be reduced by 20 to 25%. Whether you actually produce cars or prefer to only drive them, you should think about the CO2 footprint of the car. My dad is no longer driving, but I am pretty sure that had he been a bit younger and looking for his next car, he would have been smart enough to think about that. After all, that is where the world is moving.